Hello, in this video for Bootstrap 4, we're going to show you how to integrate drop downs inside of your nav. If you know how to do drop downs, you'll feel right at home. If you don't, don't worry, there's a video in this series that covers that as well. So we've got our drop down, I mean, our navs right here. So let's just use the first one. And what we're going to do is create a new list item. You can obviously just replace an existing one if you want to. And this is going to have a class of nav dash item, just as the other items do. But it's also going to have a class of drop down. And inside here, I'm going to put a href equals. And for this, we're just going to put a hash because we don't want it to go anywhere. But you can either change that if you want to. But if it's a drop down date, you would want to. I'm going to put a class, or classes I should say, because there's multiple. There's nav dash link, drop down dash toggle, data dash toggle, and for this, I'm going to put drop down, and then just need to put a roll equal button all of this like I said we've covered in a separate video so if you want more information go check that out it's in this series area dash expanded equals false and do, 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 do I should actually remove this because we're just gonna call this drop down and now what we actually need to do is create the drop down menu aka what actually pops up because at the moment we just got the button actually i'm going to save it refresh the browser so you can see what we got so we got this when we click on it it's basically highlighting it but it's not actually showing a drop down simply because we haven't coded one in yet to do that it's all simple stuff you need a div with a class of drop down menu inside here you need to have your item so for this I'm going to put a class equals drop down dash item a hate I mean href and for this I'm just going to put our company website to do, do and inside here I'm just going to put button one and I'm gonna just copy and paste this a few times. So change this to button two, button three. And also what I'm gonna do is create, now actually that'll be enough. Also gonna put a divider in here. So to do that, I just put an empty div with a class of drop down dash divider. You obviously don't have to have these items you can have any sort of drop down item this is just a particular items i'm choosing and now that looks like we're ready to go so if we just save this go to our web browser refresh click down as you can see we have a drop down and if you click it it takes us to the designated website but we have a drop down that works within our navigational menu you might be thinking, can you add it within the pill and we need, will it match the style of the navigational pill? And yes, it will. So to do that, it's simple, Just add the same code and I'm actually going to add it in the middle of the items or towards the middle. So it looks a little different, but there we go. We got a drop down, click it. And as you can see, it visually does look different because it matches the style of the navigational menu that it's in. So that's it for drop downs within navs. As an extra task, we want you to actually put it within the stacked nav, see how that looks. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. So you can check out the code for the dropdown via that link. Please rate, comment and subscribe as it really does help. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.